this driver tech, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this, this driver tech is really getting on my nerves. my driver tech fixed. Well not fixed, but new head Just unit morning. and a new uh and a new motherboard box. Now you you would think that by them putting a new system in the truck you you would think you won't have no problem. You won't have no problem, right? Look at this shit. Look at that. Okay? Look, no power, no power, no screen, no nothing. And this just happened maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes ago. It, it crapped out. What the, what the fuck, man? Dude, I mean, I, I am unbelievably frustrated right now, man. I mean, it's, I am not having no luck. With, with this system in this truck. I-270 North. I had to pull over. To the left and 0.2 Call mile. DT support so they can they can talk me through on in a quarter the mile. system again. The I unplugged it, left it out for 10 seconds like I normally do. Plug it back up. And feet nothing, to because at about five o'clock in the morning, they 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 noticed that it was a power a power loss. It came back on. So I said, okay. To the left on I two seventy. But it was on this morning. I mean, I came on duty, pre trip, all that good stuff came. Up came uh, back into the truck came back into the truck and uh, and, and started driving one of my subscribers in my YouTube mentioned an app that you know that, that keeps track of of your e log about the app that I download well this is gonna this is this is gonna be quick um Actually, it's called Easy Logs right here. Click on that, and basically, it's 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 an electronic log book that you guys that you guys can use. It's 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 a good it is a good app to have. Unfortunately, um, US Express don't see this as a viable thing, but you can use this in conjunction with your with your log book. I think it just went out. Yeah, there it is. You can you can use this. Okay, well, there we go. You can use this in conjunction with your law book, and it actually keeps track of keeps track of your driving, your off duty, and all that other good stuff. So, I would suggest you guys uh, download this. It's in the App Store up under. Uh, easy law. I I called um, like I said I was on the phone with DT support, and you know of course they sent me my my uh, my eight day logs, which I haven't even certified the last day because yesterday I was off all day yesterday on my reset. How are you? I'm right now. Um, after that, after that, like I said, when I called them, they sent me all my laws, and of course, I had to go back to paper. I had to go back to paper again. 
which you know what guys I, I'm tired all right I'm, I'm really am I'm, I'm really I'm really tired of this 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 thing either is something wrong with the cords or the power or whatever it gotta be something going on in the cord it gotta be something shorted out in the cord something is going on in the power cord or something dude I mean it's it's crazy that I man look okay it's just so frustrated right now it's just it's 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 pissing me off and it and it's it's really messing up my money you know what I'm saying it, it really messing up my money that I gotta go to a shop so I made it here to the Springfield terminal and decided to go in here and ask the shop if they able to get me in, you know, to look at the driver tent today. Nah, man, they can't get me in today. It's a two day wait. She over here talking about, well, we can probably get you in early. I'm over here like, I'm looking at that like, look. Like man, y'all y'all don't have nobody that can that can get me in there quicker than that. For however long I gotta be at the shop to get it to get it looked at or fixed or whatever, and then go back out, drive again, drive a couple of days, and then a couple of days later this shit craps out again. I'm I'm sorry for cussing so much, man, but it, it, it's it's really it's really nerve wracking right now that that I gotta go through this. And I, my, you know, my previous, my previous trucks that I had, I never had any problems with the driver tech at all, all right? Now here's the situation with the laws, all right? I'm about to tell you guys what happened with that. All right, so I'm on the phone with the law department. And I, I don't know this young lady, but I don't know. So I call her up and I try to explain to her. First I asked her, I, I told her, I said, I, now listen guys, listen to what I'm saying. I just got off the phone with DT support and you know, they let me know, you know, they, you know, I told them about the driver tag acting up again or malfunctioning again. So she goes, well, what's this, what, what's the matter with it? And I go, I said, it, it crapped out. I said, there's no power to it. The screen's out. Take exit. She says, she goes, here's what I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm like, hold, hold up. Wait a minute. I said, hold up, ma'am. But no, I'm not holding up. Uh, you gonna listen to what I got to say. I'm like, oh wait, wait, hold up. Number one, you don't talk to me like no fucking kid. You know what I'm saying? You you don't talk to me like no damn kid, yo. I'm not your kid. You talk to your kids that way. Well, I'm gonna, it's my job to tell you what to do. And I'm like, no, it ain't your job to tell me what to do. So I stopped her, I, I stopped her butt right there and I was like, look, hold up, let me talk to somebody. It's another young lady that comes on the phone and she says, uh, hello, how, how can I help? And I go, I says, um, I said, well, look, you know, I, as I'm trying to explain to the other young lady uh, before she starts getting all smart, I said that my driver tech went out and you know, I was about to tell her that I talked to uh, DT support. And I was I was about to tell her that DT support already sent me my paperwork, I mean my logs for my last eight days. And I said, yesterday I was off. I said, I did my 34 reset yesterday. So I'm working with a full, I'm working with a fresh 70 right now. I said, the only question that I have for you is, I said, there's an app on the phone 
that's called e law or easy laws and I'll, I'll i'll show you guys that i'll show you guys that uh in a minute too and i says uh it's an app called easy laws and uh i was wondering if i can use that for verification just in case i get pulled over by uh, DLT or anything like that what happened to me last time I said I started playing with it this morning just to you know just to see it, that it works and actually it does work uh, people it do work it, it, it is a good app it is a good app um, I recommend you guys to download that app all right um, easy logs download it today from the Google Store this is not a paid advertisement but anyway uh so i asked the young lady and i was talking i asked her she said well unfortunately no you you will have to use the 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 u.s express law books and this this shit right here got the, the something got to give man something got to give with this driver tech man all right so i got my uh got my low set about to get ready to go so what happened uh, with this with this particular load right here so technically this load was supposed to be here Saturday uh, by 12 o'clock in the evening so basically I only had like five hours or four a little under five hours to drive and I knew that I wasn't gonna make it to this spot right here I mean I knew I wasn't gonna make it to the delivery until today so i called the i called the weekend guys up i i started with the night guy friday night and i was telling you know i sat calm them i called them and i let them know i said hey i'm not gonna have no hours to get the the load to the delivery oh okay okay well we'll start looking for a repower for you blah 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 i said okay i either need a repower or or a yard drop being that this is late they email they said call me back saying well this is a dropping hook so you don't have to worry about you know uh taking it to the yard i said fine no problem couple of hours later now mind you this is hours okay not minutes they're not set coming me back right away so a couple of hours later i get a second message saying what's your location for the repower i said cool my location, I'm here in uh, Washington, PA. I'm in the Tangier parking lot. Um, address is blah, blah, blah. So I so I, I sent it over to him. Couple of hours later, we're still working on repower. Now, this is Friday night. Now it's Saturday morning. Now the load is due Saturday at 12 in the evening so you figure if they would have got a repower they still would have had plenty of time to get this here on saturday on time so saturday um i sat calm on my says what's going on with the repower um we i don't know nothing about a repower i'm like all right fine so i tell i give them i give the weekend people the information Okay, we're working on the repower, blah, blah, blah. I ain't getting nothing back. About a couple of hours later, now mind you, it's getting close to 12 o'clock, so I decided to give them a call. I'm on hold. I am number 30 on hold, dude. Now, I understand the weekend people have problems. I really do, but... 30 people ahead of me? How many people you got working in there on the weekend? One? Oh my God. So, I say maybe about an hour being on hold. Now, I know some of you guys normally don't stay on hold for that long, but basically, I wasn't doing nothing. So, I was just, I, I, I let it go. You know, I was on the speaker and, you know, playing that god-awful elevator music. So, finally, somebody came on and I explained to them and then they told me that well we're working on the repower no problem then I get a satcom message back now this is after 12 where's your location for the repower 
I said, man, I said, okay, I'm at the Tangiers parking lot. Address is blah, 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 blah. So, next thing I know, later in the night, later in the night, now, it's, the day is over with. Ship, I mean, the load's late. So, now, overnight, I'm hearing a knock at my door. It's the, it's the security guard. Uh, it's the it's the security guard for the Tanger parking lot and he comes over and he says hey uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to move the truck blah 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 and I says well I'm I said well at this point in time sir I'm sorry but I said I'm on my 34 reset and within that time I can't move the truck I don't it's Sunday now this is Sunday this is Father's Day this is when I made that Father's Day video um, I'm on the sack con with him first thing in the morning when I get up I said hey What's going on with the repower? I said the load's late, and um, you guys are supposed to get a repower for me. We can't get a repower, so we're gonna have to deliver. I said fine. I said I, I said I knew that was gonna happen. So fast forward to today. So I'm you know I'm finally on the road, getting um getting the load here to the to the shop. And then that's when I showed you guys my driver tech went out again, again. But in the midst of me putting my law book together and all like that, which I got right here, by the way, um, my uh, my fleet manager calls me. You see what I'm saying? If I can't do something, then I'm going to let somebody know that I can't do it. And I've been on the phone since Friday. And yeah, I've been on the phone since Friday letting them know that I wasn't going to make it to this, uh, to the delivery. Only thing I care about as far as the service failure goes, I'm going to make sure that service failure is not on me because I called them Friday night and I was on the phone with them all day, uh, all day Saturday. I mean, all day Saturday, all the way up until the time it was supposed to be here. I was on the phone with them. I mean, I was on SATCOM with them Saturday evening, all day Sunday until somebody told me that I would have to bring this to the uh, to the delivery today. But yeah, we're cool. No service failure. So I'm good. But I, I just want to let you guys know, man, that, you know, this this uh this past weekend i mean with the exception of yesterday because yesterday was a good day you know what i'm saying i was able to get some rest i walked i got my miles in i went over to the casino i played a little bit uh i played a little bit over at the casino but yeah everything else was cool but this driver tech man I'm telling you I'm telling you this this driver tech is really getting on my nerves man so all right y'all that's it Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll talk to you later. Lockout man. One of our most adaptable mounts yet, the strap mounts your GoPro to your hand, wrist, arm, or leg. This mount is unique because it allows for hands-free shooting. That means you can place 100% of your attention on whatever's right in front of you, and the strap does all the work. Ready for a twist? The strap features 360-degree rotation and tilt, so you can choose your angle on the fly. Use it to capture inventive POV, immersive selfies, and many more of the up-close and personal perspectives that made GoPro famous. Both hand and wrist configurations offer excellent stability and control. Like all Go